All right, you speeding? Going. Okay, we good? All right. Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we're gonna talk about the Simpson Strong Tie BVLZ. What's a BVLZ, you ask? Well, not a lot of you know about it, but it's a, but it's a brick connector tie for a ledger, all right? So uh, they're kind of unique and they are designed that you can actually use one of these as a mount for your ledger board on brick facades on a house. Now we're not hanging our entire ledger from brick, but we have this one spot on our deck where we actually have to use a couple of these brackets. So we're kind of retrofitting these. They're designed to actually be pre-installed before you install your ledger onto brick. But I'm just gonna go over it really quick. There's a connector plate that mounts to your ledger board, and then there's a compression strut. What that does is it's adjustable, so it screws in and out of this bracket, okay? But what it does, so what you do is you put this all the way in as far as you can, and once you get through your ledger and through your brick, the, the, there's an air gap between the brick and usually the belly board of the house. So then this bracket has to touch that as part to keep the wall from ever wanting to go in, okay? Like in an earthquake or something like that, because brick, you know, it can crumble, cracks and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of um, areas where you're gonna actually just install some uh, of their SD screws, okay? Those are just the little quarter inch screws to kind of hold the plate in place. Then you're gonna use this compression strut and then you're also gonna use, oof, hmm? 14 inches. Some 14 inch um, structural, structural legs that are gonna go up at a 40 degree angle from your ledger plate up into, through the brick, through your uh, outside belly board and connect that way structurally, okay? So we've pre-drilled the holes. You can see up here, there's your main hole right here for the compression strut. And then you have two holes at the 40 degree angle. They, they actually ask us to drill quite a large hole. Um, it's like an inch, inch and an eighth or something like that. So, so they have a little bit of room for the bolts to move in case you're not on that complete 40 degree angle or whatever, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of mock it up. We already have our holes drilled. Okay. Dustin, good job. Thank you, thank you. Yep. Okay, and then we're gonna take a quarter inch drive and we're gonna go ahead and install all of those uh, SD screws. Now those are also structural screws. They're just short. So these are only an inch and a half long by a quarter inch head, but they still work. So we're gonna go ahead and ram those in. Am I missing a couple of holes here? It says you only need to do six. Six, okay. Well, there's six. Okay, I got a couple extra in my pocket, but I ain't gonna trip on that. Okay, and then, now that that's in, you, you don't worry about this yet, okay? This gets adjusted after you get these guys in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and ram jam my 14 inch right through the house and right up through the floor. Just kidding. They're not gonna do that. Okay, here we go. You can kind of tell that's all airspace. Still air. Okay. That I had just hit the ledger inside the house behind the brick. I could tell. So now for the this five inches, it's going to go through the ledger, and there'll be a little bit in the airspace, but it's not going to go all the way through the floor. All right, here we go. Man, that thing locked in. That thing locked in pretty quick. There's no, there's no play. There's no looseness or t it, it's tight. So we'll we'll drive the other side. And the funny thing is, okay, there you go. Now I'm at the ledger. The building inspector, when he came for framing inspection, we didn't have these installed yet. Obviously, we have a final coming this week, so we have to get these installed. He asked me if I was going to put these brackets on this facade. I'm like, oh yeah, absolutely. So that's what we're doing right now, right? All right, here we go. So 
now the only thing that's left to do is we gotta wind this back, which I need some pliers for. I don't, I don't think I'm that strong. Um, do we have any pliers? Yeah. Anyone? <laughs> Dustin? I'm great. All right, rolling. All right, so here's our compression strut. Now we need to wind this out so it goes back until it touches the ledger board that we attach these two screws to as well, okay? So, let's do that. Or am I going the wrong way? Righty tighty. It's a little stiff. Or maybe I'm there. Maybe not. Better maybe? Uh, we'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. Eventually. Maybe I'll speed this part of the video up a little bit. Okay. I think I'm there. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm a liar. It's, uh, you can kind of tell where things start wanting to bend, you're pretty snug. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment below if you'd like. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.